Hey, and welcome back. Update 2.1.1 is here, and there's a few things in the new update that is really nice. First of all, we have um, the freelancer station got a service station, so you can actually go in now and equip your weapons and stuff once you, once you buy it. Prior to this update, you had to go to a station where they actually had a chip service, but you could do it on the flight deck by pressing F. So it's just nice if you sell and buy right here, you can put it on right away. Another small update was that weapons are now automatically put into weapons groups when you equip them. Uh, so you don't have to figure out which goes with what, but you can change them if you want to. But I don't know. Maybe if you want to make them the other way around, depending on what you like the most, you can do that. But they are put on automatically in a group. So if I take the burst first, it will be burst in group one. And so on. So they, they link it up automatically. Another part of the update was the mail. In the mail, when you when you take mail and you put your soldiers to it, you couldn't see their levels before. You can do that now, so you can actually see if if they are fit to take the mission. Yeah, you couldn't see that before, but it's possible to see it now. So now we can see that this guy should be able to do a level 19 mission, because he's way over that. So we can just send this guy and he will do the mission. And. Prior to this, you had to remember all the names. If you couldn't remember the names, you had to guess. And yeah, well, I lost a lot of soldiers doing that because I just sent them out randomly. If we had a few more guys to the mail and we want to put them to it, you can see they're level one, so they probably won't do very well. Also, there was added a general uh, volume control for the entire game, so you don't have to tweak every single one of them. The general volume control also impacts Eve. Hello, Eve. Hi there. How can I help you? And if we turn it up, of course, she will be a lot higher as well. Hello, Eve. Hello. How can I help you? And now that we're actually able to turn up for Eve, we can actually hear what she's saying as well. The other thing that was at was a confirmation dialog to the pause menu. So if I click the quit button, you will get this pop up saying, are you sure you really want to quit? I'm not so sure I have actually ever needed that, but I guess it's nice if you are unsure whether you will save or anything. But yeah, it's here. So another small uh, thing was that the the lead target or the bullet's aim system was upgraded, so it should be more accurate now that you can actually hit what you're aiming at if you hit the the lead marker. Uh, so far it, it looks and feels more smooth and better. There's also a small orange, I don't know what you can call it, line from the ship to the, the leading aim. So. It, it, it feels a bit more smooth. Prior to this uh, update, often when I was shooting at stuff, uh, I felt like it, it didn't really exactly hit where it was supposed to. But now it's working, or it's at least working better. So the last part of the update has to do with ground combat, and it should be that Bob's is no longer despawn once you've killed people. Pretty soon there will be a bunch of corpses just outside this city. Unless, of course, I'm going to be one of the corpses. Oh, of course I can't hit anything. So once you've shot a bunch of guys, there's going to be a lot of corpses out here. And there we go. So now it's looting time. And I'm just going to enjoy... Oh, why? Okay, so this guy wasn't flying anywhere. Now he is. Cool. Looting time. So after having looted the entire village and going back to my ship, the corpses are now gone. So I'm guessing they do despawn after some time. 
how much time I don't know exactly but it's been a couple of minutes and the corpses are now gone so yeah they do despawn they just don't disappear immediately but they will stay for a little bit and after that they're gone now one thing I would like for the next update or an update soon is that you could actually sort these like all the amix tanks next to each other and all the whole series next to each other right now they're pretty much randomly put in here also it would be nice if you could see maybe the color of the of the of the component here so that this text would be in blue right and this in green because i mean i know i have some purple stuff somewhere i have a stella hull series here I just looted and it's probably better than the one i have which is hard to see because i can't really see it because it's all the way out there which is also quite annoying so hopefully that will be fixed at some point uh where do i have my hole i have my hole here so probably gonna change this one for this one and i probably have something else i'm not exactly sure it's but it's not it's it's kind of hard to figure it all out generally speaking we do need some sort buttons overall like in the galaxy web would be nice to be able to sort them by money income or level stuff like that and again a trade would be nice if you could sort them for demand price or buy price but someone could suggest it on the discord server but yeah it's it's minor stuff but it would be nice to have at some point apart from the update of course there was a uh, the usual bug fixes uh i'll post them on the screen you can go what read them here pause the video or you can go read them on steam but generally speaking it was uh a lot of the minor issues that people have been reporting that was rather annoying in general uh, most of the bugs that were fixed this time are not bugs i have personally experienced but doesn't mean they're not quite annoying for anyone who has and yeah, that's pretty much it for this small update, 2.1.1. In, in any case, I'll be back as soon as there's a new update. Uh, so this is it for now. Rexer out.